Bonjour les amis, um, do you want to go to Paris for Valentine's Day and ooh, your Valentine's where you when you go there? Um, my name is Leanne Stanfield and you are watching uh, French uh, Valentine with Leanne where I uh, come up on Facebook Live every single day until Valentine's Day to give you suggestions uh, where to go and what to say. And today is uh, day number two, and these videos don't stay on video on Facebook, they expire from Facebook. So if you would like to have unlimited access to these videos, um, reach out to me uh, through the link in the description of this video. Also, um, I'm going to give you the expressions um, and if you would like to really know how to say uh, these words, uh, click on the link in the description of this video and download the pronunciation cheat sheet. So uh, today I want to suggest you uh, to suggest that you go in uh, sur, uh, dans une promenade sur le pont des Arts, and uh, le pont des Arts is well known. And I gave you just a little bit of directions there, and of course reach out with questions and let me know if you need um, more information about it and what to say. Uh, je t'adore, je t'adore. So. Uh, the pronunciation for this, um, most of people may, um, may, may say it closely uh, because uh, I adore you and je t'adore is uh, pretty close to each other as pronunciation. But um, I do want to give you a little uh, uh, help uh, for pronunciation and of course, click on the link in the description of this video to get the pronunciation cheat sheet so that you really say it the right way and impress your Valentine uh, with your French know-how. So, um, it is written in the description and um, so E after J is pronounced E, uh, not E, uh, but E. Uh. Obviously, this is for beginners. So, JE, uh, TA DOR. Adore. Now, if you cannot pronounce um, the French R, is okay. Uh, you can pronounce the English, use the English R, it's absolutely fine. If you have any fr uh, Spanish background or if you can um, pronounce the Spanish R, uh, feel free to use it. Um, don't skip it because if you skip it, it doesn't sound French anymore, it doesn't sound as romantic, of course. And um, the final E in je t'adore, um, don't eat it up, right? Just really try to give a hint of it. And, uh, and do practice of run and rerun re this video. Um, and if it's not on Facebook again, anymore, again, just reach out to me through the link in the description of this video. And I'm going to give you access uh, to, uh, to the videos to practice and to say to your Valentines, Je t'adore. So this is what I had for you for today. Stay on your game. Keep going for your dreams to become bilingual. And if you don't become bilingual, at least for Valentine's Day, uh, you can become a little bit more French. Merci beaucoup et à demain. Au revoir.